to the all important question now do you do you have any favorites hmm? um well you know i have to be totally non biased here of course. totally neutral um i like them all <laughs> i'm sure you do okay ladies watching right now you can choose your favorite because we now present our 10 semi finalists looking elegant looking gorgeous looking great in their evening wear gentlemen Our first contestant is Jason Ersek from New Zealand. 27-year-old Jason makes his way as a building contractor and he recently helped building Johnny Versace's house in Miami. That's Jason Ersek, our New Zealander. Thank you very much, Kiwi. Making his way up now is Zulfi Said Ahmad from India. Zulfi is 21 and currently studies hotel management. More of a listener than a talker, Zulfi has loyal friends all over the world who were jamming up the phone lines to wish him luck. Well, good luck, Zulfi Said Ahmed from India. Make way now for Francisco Jimenez from Panama. 31-year-old Francisco spends his time making art. On reaching Singapore, the first thing he learned to say in Mandarin was, You're so beautiful. Yet he professes to be extremely shy. A man of many facets is Francisco Jimenez from Panama. Number four right now is Mr. Cyprus, Marios Liasides. Marios is 27 and is an undergraduate production engineer. Now he'll be playing Red Butler in a remake of Gone with the Wind soon, but hopefully that won't happen with his shot at the title. Well, Marios, tomorrow is another day from Cyprus, Marios Liasides. And from Puerto Rico, we have jo Jonathan Rojas. He is 21 and studies criminology. His other passion is basketball, which he has shelved for the time being because of a knee injury. We hope he gets well soon. That was Jonathan Rojas from Puerto Rico. Say hello now to Kevin Chuck from Singapore. Kevin is 30 and is a full-time insurance training manager. Now, he might not look like it, but boy, can Kevin sing. In fact, his efforts place him third during our talent night at Sparks. That's our boy, Kevin Chuck from Singapore. Appearing on your screens now is Kamel Fidan from Turkey. Kamel is one of our youngest contestants at 19 and a top model in Turkey. He doesn't speak a word of English or Spanish, yet he is one of the most popular guys among the contestants. From Turkey, it's Kamel Fidan. A big Texan yeehaw now to Brian Dinellen from the USA. 25-year-old Brian is an inspiring actor and he's just finished working on a film starring Bridget Nielsen. He's also worked on the set of Born on the 4th of July and Robocop. Quite a boy, uh, Brian, from the USA, Brian Dinellen. Vincent Pinto from the Philippines. Vincent is a 22-year-old graphic artist who's taking Spanish lessons right now. The wild, wild man, Vincent Pinto from the Philippines. Our final top 10 contestant is Sandro Finoglio of Venezuela. Sandro is a 25-year-old undergraduate and model, yet he has no idea why he's considered sexy. Well, ladies, what do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, Sandro Finoglio from Venezuela. Well, Lisa, that was it, the uh, evening wear segment. Well, they all look equally dashing. I think our judges are going to have a very tough time deciding on our final five contenders. Well, while our judges decide on our five top five contenders, right now it's time to bring on five young ladies from Thailand. Now, these five girls are the hottest thing in Thailand right now. So please give a huge Singapore Sawadee for the Angies. Yeah.
wasn't it? Yeah, some spicy, spicy, spicy stuff, Lisa. Well, things are going to get hotter and spicier right now because I have the names of the five finalists right here in my hand, oh. 
Well, Lisa, we have 10 nervous guys on stage. We have a whole studio full of nervous people. You have one very nervous co-host standing next to you. So please, woman, put us all out of our misery. Thank okay, you. Okay, because you're so nervous, I think <laughs> I'll let you do it. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. Let me uh, open the envelope right now. Once again, gentlemen, best of luck. These five finalists are in no particular order or merit, okay? First, grand finalist from India, Zulfi Sayed. Come on down, Jason Airsack from New Zealand. <laughs> the screams, Lisa, are getting louder and louder. Give it up right now for grand finalist number three from the island of Puerto Rico, Jonathan Rojas. Three down, two to go. Kamustaka Vincent Pinto from the Philippines. Right. Of the six guys left on stage, only one can take the step down the stairs into the top five of the evening. What do you say, folks? Who do you think it's going to be? I hear a whole bunch of screams. He is from Venezuela, Venezuela Sandro Sinoglio. Come on down again, Sandro. Congratulations <laughs> to our five finalists. All right, if our screams are anything to go by, the contest is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. Coming up after the break, the most crucial part of the evening that can make or break a contestant. This is the interview round. So stay with us. Do not go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. This is Manhunt International 1997. If you've just joined us, you've picked a great time to join us because we've come to the most tension-filled, most nervous, most important part of the show, Lisa. This is crunch time. That's right. It's the all-important interview. Now, our contestants have a choice to answer five questions. As you see, I'm holding five different cards right here. Now, the judges will be looking for the following points. Logic, diction, eloquence, spontaneity, and the good old personality. Very eloquently put, a great logic and superb diction, Lisa Ang. So without further ado, then let's bring on our first grand finalist of the evening. Please welcome from India. Come on down here. Okay. How are you doing right now? I'm very nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. You have a choice of five questions, my friend. Lisa? All right, ready for your question? What is the greatest sacrifice you've ever made? Yeah, well, people like Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa have sacrificed so much. I don't think so. I've sacrificed that much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, my friend. Okay, from, India, from India. To your position, please. Well, we have... Uh, Four gentlemen left to go. Who do we have next? We have from New Zealand, the Kiwi, Jason Ersek. You're very popular with the crowd, aren't you? A very popular I guy so. here. I don't know. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm pretty excited, but a little bit nervous too, yeah. Okay. Uh, nice deep voice. Jason, your choice of four questions. Take a pick. <laughs> choices, number. choices indeed. All right. And your question is... How do you see yourself 10 years from now? Uh, I, th I think I need 10 years to sort of <laughs> decide that, but uh, 10 years from now, I, I hope I can sort of keep carrying on and, and developing my skills and perhaps modelling and uh, my construction uh, career. And uh, hopefully I can maintain a good relationship with my friends back home and keep establishing new friends around the world and keep moving. But I can't honestly say where I will be exactly, but I know that as long as I have a lot of contacts around and, and friends around the world, um, it'll be wherever it's... Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Thank, thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jason. 
Well said, Jason. Great trendy guy indeed, okay. Right now, grand finalist number three from our neighbor nearby, the Philippines, Vincent Pinto. Hello. Tamusta ka, Vincent. You look very confident. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Vincent, okay. you have a tough task here. You gotta pick one of these, buddy. And the question is, what do you think is the biggest problem facing the world today? Well, basically, uh, the biggest problem is within all of us. It's the greed. Uh, if you look at all the problems in the world, there's only one cause. It's the greediness in, in the minds of the people. That's it. Great moral guy indeed. Three of them have done the walk down the stairs. You're left with two waiting eagerly for the turn. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. Jonathan Rojas from Puerto Rico. Hola. Hola, Jonathan. Here you go. Jonathan will be answering the question in English. He needs no interpreter. Who is your role model in life? Hello, everybody. After beginning, the role model in my life is my father. My father, because when I was born, he gave me love and tenderness. As I was growing up, he stopped doing some things to pay my education. And now that I'm 20 years old, and he supported me in my career at the university, and I'm introducing to every society around here to every all of this guy, my values. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, gracias. Be sure your father's very proud of you as well, Jonathan. Four of them, great camaraderie among the guys over here, but we have one gentleman left to go. He's from Venezuela, he's very popular. He is Sandro Finoglio. And Sandro will require an interpreter. We have Colin with us on stage. Hello, Colin. Sandro, you have one question left. Let me just... Only. Yes. Let me flip it open. Uh, Lisa will read the question. How would you like to be remembered in life? ¿Cómo quieres tú ser recordado en la vida? <coughs> eh, buenas noches a todo el mundo en Singapur. Eh, yo quisiera ser recordado como una persona que soy. Una persona amable, cortés con las damas, este, con buen carisma, siempre feliz, con mente positiva y sobre todo con un espíritu de progreso. Gracias. Colin? I like to be remembered as a person I am very well motivated with a lot of spirit and I'm always very generous and I always help people and I always ho I hope to continue the way I am as well. A Thank very you very much, Colin. Thank you very much. Gracias. Thank you. Gracias, Sandro Pinoglio from Venezuela. Well, there you have them, folks, our five grand finalists for the evening. Now, take one good last look at them because one of them will soon be crowned Manhunt International 1997. Well, there we have them, our five grand finalists. Best of luck to you, gentlemen. Now, we will be announcing the results very shortly. And once again, please welcome the reigning Manhunt International, L.B. Geldenheis. Hello, once again, L.B. Okay, Lisa, 38 down to 10, down to 5, and down to this. In my hands right now, I'm holding the names of our runners up. So before I open the envelope, salute, gentlemen. Here we go. The fourth runner up is from India, Zulfi Said Ahmad.
Congratulations, Zofi. The tension is just building. I can hear the screams. The third runner-up is from Puerto Rico, Jonathan Rojas. Okay, Lisa, it's getting more and more tense. The second runner-up comes from the Philippines, Vincent Pinto. That leaves us with uh, Jason and Sandro from New Zealand and Venezuela, respectively. Right, this is a very tense moment. We have two contestants left. There can only be one winner. And to announce the grand winner of Manhunt International 1997, please welcome the president of Manhunt International, Mr. Alex Liu. Good evening, Mr. Liu. Okay, good evening, Alex. Good to see you again. Now, before we do this, can we please have the two remaining contestants kindly step forward right up here to the front of the stage, please. Jason from New Zealand, Sandro Pinoglio from... Yep, that's fine, guys. Now, before we crown the champion, I have one important announcement to make, Jason and Sandro. Now, should the winner be unable for any reason to fulfill his obligations, then the first runner-up will automatically assume the title of Manhunt International. So, guys, the title of first runner-up is also very very important indeed that said and done lisa it's all come down to this after months and months of intense work alex please keep us in suspense no longer who's the winner tonight thank you daryl the winner of manhunt international 1997 is from new zealand Jason <laughs> uh, you are our first run up here this evening Sandro, over here please for your crowd. That's right, Jason, we're gonna go up there and crown you right now. Well, thank you, Mr. Liu. Albi, we have a token for you right now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Albi. Well, Lisa, let's go Thank see you. what uh, Jason's going to say. Jason, yes, my Mr. friend, Glory how man. are you feeling right now? Uh, quite shocked, actually. <laughs> Not bad for a surfer dude from New Zealand, uh, Jason. You didn't dream this would ever happen? Uh, actually, I lied. I don't really surf. <laughs> now, any message for all your friends right here in Singapore? Uh, thank you very, very much to the judges for choosing me, firstly, and thanks a lot to the sponsors. Um, Thanks heaps to all the guys. Uh, they've, everyone's worked really hard. It's it's no easy competition at all. It's just it's all hard work, but you know it's it's a little bit of fun along the way as well. Yeah, thank you very much.